So to undo a commit in Git, you first need to figure out if you've already pushed the commit. Because if you haven't pushed the commit yet, I would recommend using git reset, otherwise you kinda have to use git revert, unless you want your teammates to hate you. The main difference between these two is that git reset will remove your commit from the history entirely, whereas git revert is a non-destructive operation that will create an entirely new commit, undoing the changes from the previous one. If you're not quite sure if you've already pushed your commit, just run this short command. If the commit you want to undo is listed here, it means you have not yet pushed it and you can safely use git reset. If the commit is not listed or the command just returns nothing, it means you have already pushed your commit and you really should use git revert instead. Git reset will remove the commit from your history entirely. So for example, when you want to undo your last commit, run this command. This will remove the latest commit from the history and leave the changes from that commit in your working copy as uncommitted changes. You can then modify the files as you like and commit them again. Or you can run git checkout dot to delete all those changes entirely. Careful with this command, because once you run this, all your uncommitted changes are deleted forever. By the way, head is just the name of the commit that you have currently checked out. You can also delete multiple commits this way. For example, this command will remove your last three commits. Note that the commit you're referencing in the command does not get deleted, only the ones that were created after it. Alternatively, we could also have used the commit hash. Again, the commit itself will not be removed, only the ones that come after it. This feels a bit weird, but under the hood, when you do a reset, git just moves the branch pointer to that specific commit. Those other commits are technically still in history, they're just no longer part of the branch and will be garbage collected or pruned by Git at some point. Just be aware that any commits you reset are not immediately deleted from your repo entirely. So if you're trying to remove sensitive information like accidentally committed passwords or API keys, you need to use another tool. Let me know if this topic is interesting to you for another video. All right, so if you've already pushed your commit, you should use git revert instead. Run git log to find the commit that you want to undo. Copy the commit hash and run git revert with it. The main difference to git reset is that instead of deleting the old commit, git will create a new commit. This commit will contain the reverse changes from your old commit. So for example, if your old commit added three lines, exactly those three lines will be removed again in the reverted commit. The no edit flag just makes it so that you don't have to enter a commit message and accepts the default message. You can then just push the reverted commit and you're finished. Since git revert only adds a new commit to the history and doesn't modify or remove any old commits, it's always safe to use it, even if you've already pushed your old commit. You can even use it to revert older commits in the history without affecting any of the ones that came after it. Just be aware that all the code you've committed will still be clearly visible in the history and for your coworkers to laugh at. <laughs> I'm also working on a highly interactive Git cheat sheet, which will be released this fall. Go to philomatics.com slash git cheat sheet to get it once it's released. Have a great day and thanks for watching Philomatics.